Yo, what up fam? It's Phantom, and in today's video, we're going over the top five Pixelmon servers of 2024. These are all servers that are running Pixelmon on Minecraft 1.16.5. And if you want to know how to download and play Pixelmon, I will have a video linked in the description going over how to do so. Without further ado, let's jump into number five. Number five, Pixel Fam. As a surprise to absolutely no one, we have PixelFam at number five. We have to put our own server in this top five server list, but I tried to be as unbiased as possible and I put it at number five instead of number one, even though I think in deep down in my heart, it's number one, but we're gonna try and be unbiased in this video and put it at number five. PixelFam is a server that just launched recently into the Minecraft 1.16.5 version, and we've only been launched for about a week. That means it's a perfect time to get in on a new server that you guys I'm sure will enjoy. We've learned plenty of things over the years with owning a Pixelmon server and it's all culminated into what we currently have with PixelFam. We have a ton to offer. We have weekly events, a huge staff that's helpful at all times, a large community that continues to grow every single day, plenty of in-game activities like PvP tournaments and a battle tower, and we have now added custom Pokemon. Right now we have the Magma Pokemon line, which offers super cool Pokemon like this Frigibax or even the rare Heatran. The best part about these custom Pokemon is that you can get them immediately when joining the server. Whenever you join the server and you defeat a Pokemon, you have a small chance at getting one of these crate keys every single time you defeat a Pokemon. You can then use these keys to get one of these awesome Magma Pokemon and you have a small chance at getting a shiny Magma Pokemon. We are going to be launching one new set of custom Pokemon every month. Our new set is looking really cool. The best part about this server though is there is no pay to win because our motto is when somebody pays, everyone wins. Let me show you an example. If I were to buy a shiny crate key on the server, everyone online will also get that shiny crate key. That means that when somebody buys something, you are also rewarded by just being on the server. And to reward the person who has purchased something on the server, they get one shiny Magma Crate Key or whichever version of custom Pokemon is currently in rotation that month. This way, when somebody pays, they get rewarded with a cool cosmetic feature, but also reward themselves and the server with the Crate Keys that they purchase. What are you waiting for? Join PixelFam today at play.pixelfam.fun and I'll have the IP in the description as well. Number four, Poke Nova. Poke Nova is owned by one of our admins and I brought him on our team because of how great I thought his server really is. One of the unique features of Poke Nova that I really enjoy is their Poke Snap mini game. In this game, you get to take pictures of Pokemon and then you sell those pictures. This Pixelmon feature is usually only for cosmetics, but Poke Nova make it a legit way to make money on the server alongside plenty of other activities. They have seasonal maps, which have new quizzes, battle towers, texture Pokemon, and more, and they have full-on side quests in-game, like their Moltres quest, which guides you along a storyline to find the elusive Galarian Moltres. I really think this server is criminally underrated. It is a small player base, but I know it will grow quickly because of how well made this server is. I really have been enjoying my time on this server, and I think it is one of the cleanest servers in all of Pixelmon. I think they have a very sleek and nice server that really, really makes sure they have quality in every feature they add, and they really think about the economy, the looks, and everything involved with the Pixelmon server to really bring it together to bring a wonderful experience to all players. If you guys wanna join this server, check out the Poke Nova IP in the description. Number three. Complex Pixelmon. This server always makes it into my top five list and for really good reason, it really sets the standard for what a Pixelmon server should be and it is by far the largest community by a large margin in Pixelmon. If you're looking to play the most popular Pixelmon server, Complex is really the server for you. They have a feature complete server. They really have it all. They have dungeons to explore, which are really, really cool and more of an in-game activity. They have contracts to complete to earn money while playing on the server. They have gyms and even an Elite Four, all both NPC and player owned gyms in Elite Four. So you have a lot to challenge on the server. They have seasonal Pokemon that look gorgeous and much, much more. This server has every feature imaginable under Pixelmon and it is 
is really, really a cool server and one I always find myself coming back to time and time again. With the large server though, comes its biggest drawback, which it's hard to build a community with such a large player base. And now that Pixelmon has moved into the Minecraft 1.16, it can involve more players on one server. Pixelmon used to be only 100 player servers and Complex had them all divided up within those. But now that they can only have a few servers running and they can hold more players, it means that the player base is even larger when you join any one of their servers. So it can be a little overwhelming. I really enjoy the server and it's one that I tend to play often, but it is also one that I really don't interact with other players very often because it's quite large, but I'm sure you can find a community and if you guys wanna play a large server and have as much features as possible, Complex Pixelmon is your server. Make sure to check out the IP in the description. Number two, Eternia MC. Right off the bat, with Eternia MC, you're greeted with the fact that you get the commands Pokey Heal and PC right off the rip for free. That's a really cool and unique feature that most servers make you pay for. The fact that you get access to those is a really, really nice quality of life feature that will make you not have to go back to the Pokemon Center anytime you want to heal your Pokemon or get one of your Pokemon out of your boxes. The server has monthly tournaments and an active Discord that really seems to foster their tight-knit community. I tend to go towards smaller servers, and I think this server roughly has about anywhere from 20 to 50 players on it at a given time, and I think it's perfect for that small-knit community that you can really get involved to. One of the things that I enjoy about this server is it has Crane Game and other mini games that are a great distraction with really solid rewards and a really fun thing to do while you're playing this server. Quest scrolls also give goals for players to work towards, and I always like things like quest scrolls or contracts or something that'll keep me moving forward and have a very specific goal in mind. This server has that. If you're looking for a smaller community but still an active server with plenty to do, Eternia MC is for you. Make sure to check out the IP in the description. You guys will not miss out if you play Eternia MC. Number one, Happy Cloud MC. Last on our list, but certainly not the least, Happy Cloud MC takes our number one spot because it's got all of what you want in a Pixelmon server, and it's got the perfect small knit community that will welcome all viewers with open arms. I'm sure you guys will really, really enjoy what this server has to offer. They have custom starters, community and individual quests, guilds, and even a custom route you can take on gyms in this custom route and will give you something to do on the server that is unique to only Happy Cloud MC. One of the unique features I found on this server that a lot of servers I've never seen do this is a feature called shards. Shards can be collected by defeating Pokemon on the server and the Pokemon's type determines which shards you get. You then turn those shards into a new Pokemon and you collect the shards as you continue to play on the server. So you defeat, let's say a psychic Pokemon, you get a psychic, type shard and then you collect enough of those and defeat enough psychic pokemon you can turn those shards then into the psychic pokemon that you actually want on the server i think it's a really really cool way to get those hard to find pokemon or just a pokemon that you really like that you want to keep rolling to try to get the best pokemon you can this is an overall wonderfully crafted server and I've enjoyed it so much and I'm sure you will too. If you guys want to play this server, I will have the IP in the description. Make sure to check out Happy Cloud MC. It is a really, really cool server that I'm sure you guys will get plenty of playtime out of. That's going to do it for our top five server list. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.